How's it going, everyone? Another week and another batch of new PlayStation 4 and 5 game releases. Gotta say, pretty nice week of new releases. A lot of titles to sink your teeth into. A game that's been in development for almost a decade at this point, maybe even longer than a decade. A major expansion and a lot of other smaller titles rounding out the lineup. So let's get right into it and let's start things off with what I would say, at least the PlayStation audience, is the biggest release of the week, and that is Horizon Forbidden West's Burning Shores expansion. We've gotten a lot of information about the expansion especially from a technical standpoint it's been received i want to say fairly strongly based on the preview material we've seen thus far obviously this expansion takes place after the conclusion of forbidden west you have to complete the main campaign and then you can jump into burning shores content but it has you travel beyond the forbidden west as aloy's story continues encounter new machines and a compelling new story south of the tanakh clan lands millennia of volcanic eruptions and violent seismic activity have carved the ruins of los angeles into a treacherous archipelago experience the next chapter of horizon forbidden west is Aloy pursues a sinister new threat to the planet hidden among these dangerous untamed wilds. The Burning Shores DLC contains additional content for Horizon Forbidden West, including new characters and experiences in a stunning yet hazardous new area. To enter the Burning Shores again, you gotta beat the base game and then it has to be on the PlayStation 5 version of the game. No PlayStation 4 release of Burning Shores based on the fact that they are trying to take the technical limits of this expansion a little bit further. Following the main quest, the player will receive a call over Aloy's focus beginning the DLC. I would expect something in line with what we got out of the Frozen Wilds from a content standpoint, and hey, to me that sounds pretty good. Frozen Wilds had a good bit of content. Like, if you wanted to do everything, that was a 12 to 15 hour, 12 to 14 hour experience, and I think if we're getting that for 19 1999, hey, I'm all on board with that one, and I loved Forbidden West from a gameplay standpoint. If this is more of that, and you're talking about the technical bar for the franchise being raised as well, with this being a true PS5-only expansion, I think that's incredibly compelling. And again, the price point is great. You do have a pre-order bonus if you do want to pick it up. Excited to check this one out. Horizon Forbidden West's Burning Shores will be out on April 19th. Next up, another major release. We have Dead Island 2. Man, oh man, has it been a long time since Dead Island 2 has been revealed. After a plethora of delays, the game just going MIA... It is finally out this week, a long time coming. It has been almost a decade since this game initially got revealed, and it's been in development even longer before that. And you're talking about a game that was really seen as one of the early PlayStation 4 titles. Yes, PlayStation 4 titles, but now it's a PS4 and PS5 game. A deadly virus is spreading across Los Angeles, California, turning its inhabitants into ravenous zombies. The city is in quarantine, and the military have retreated, been infected, but more than just immune. You learn to harness the zombie inside, only you and a handful of other swaggering fellows who happen to be resistant to the pathogen holds the future of Los Angeles and in turn humanity in the balance. As you uncover the truth behind the outbreak, you'll discover who or what you are, survive, evolve, save the world, just another day in Los Angeles. The much-loved zombie saga is back with a unique formula of horror, dark humor, and over-the-top zombie slang spanning an epic pulp adventure. Dead Island 2 is a thrilling first-person action RPG that takes players across a brand new playground, stylish, vibrant, and flooded with zombie infection, explore iconic, gore-drenched Los Angeles, meet larger-than-life characters, slay countless foes in exquisitely bloody detail, and evolve to become the ultimate zombie slayer. See you in hell. A. Hey, now, always with a game like this, you have to remain a little bit cautious based on the fact that the game has been delayed so many times, based on the fact that it has been in development so long. However, if you actually look at the gameplay that's dropped recently, it looks like a fairly well-made game. It looks like the time has been well spent. Maybe there was things that went awry in the midst of development of this game, but it looks like they went back to the drawing board, and what you're going to ultimately get come April the 21st might be something that's going to be a lot of fun, and that's what I hope that we are going to get out of it. Now, it should be noted that this is a $70 title, and it is a $70 game on both PS4 and PS5. Sometimes, you know, the $70 price tag has been attached to just next generation titles. Well, it's becoming more and more apparent that there's going to be current gen games. I guess, you know, PS5 is current gen. I should rather say last gen games that are going to be $70 as well. In the case of Dead Island 2, both the PS4 and PS5 versions will be $70. That's something to think about. Maybe this will be better off waiting on a sale for it, but still, it's just nice to see this game finally come out and hopefully we get a nice zombie slaying adventure once Dead Island 2 drops on April 21st. 
Next up, we have Stray Blade. Stray Blade is an action RPG where you play as a rogue adventurer exploring the ancient valley of Akreo with your companion, the Wolf Boji. Unveil the history of the Furyan Valley and master the powers of three Archean metals to restore balance to the War Tour land. The game looks pretty fun as an action adventure title being published by 505 Games. Stray Blade is out on April 20th. Next up, we have Coffee Talk Episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly. Dust off your coffee machine and prepare your warmest smile to meet your favorite customers again in the second episode of Coffee Talk hibiscus and butterfly a coffee brewing and heart-to-heart -heart talking simulator so don't expect super in-depth gameplay on this one this is something that is more relaxing and more of a dialogue based title but if you're into something a little bit more low-key this might be something right up your alley it's time to revisit your favorite late night coffee shop and reconnect with your fantasy friends over a warm drink or two brew warm drinks create a latte art masterpieces chill lo-fi atmosphere urban fantasy cappuccino punk title that's a new one and hang out with a diverse cast of characters as well coffee talk to hibiscus and butterfly is out on april 20th Next up, we have Cavity Busters, a pretty interesting game here. Cavity Busters is a roguelike tooth punk bullet hell where you utilize your single tooth to chomp away at a cavity infested enemies, traverse walls, dodge through bullet filled rooms, and stomp on adversaries, gather power ups, acquire punk diseases, and dig through the body. Take control of Gummy the Soft, who had a long and hard fall from the great god. Battle toughest teeth foes and confront the fearsome pearly knights, a true test of your inimitable. Collect upgrades and diseases to enhance your agility and mastery over. Over your solitary tooth. Remember to brush and floss daily. Cavity Busters is out Thursday, April the 20th. Next up, here's a title that I'm very excited for. The Mage Seeker, a League of Legends story. The latest League of Legends story title, which is an expansion on the overall League of Legends world and lore. The Mage Seeker, a League of Legends story, is a 2D pixel gritty action RPG set in Demacia, a mighty kingdom in the world of Runeterra that seeks to curtail what it deems as forbidden magic while wielding magic themselves to maintain order. In this one, you'll take the role of Silas, an escaped mage whose quest for vengeance will shatter Demacia's deceptive peace, a peace built with the blood and sweat of mages. The Mage Seeker, a League of Legends story, provides an action-packed fantasy gameplay experience for those looking to experience a story of power, identity, and justice. This is a game done by Digital Sun, the same studio that brought you Moonlighter, so they do have experience in this style of game. The Mage Seeker, a League of Legends story, is out Tuesday, April 18th. Next up, we have Minecraft Legends. Discover the mysteries of Minecraft Legends, a new action strategy game. Explore a gentle land of rich resources and lush biomes on the brink of destruction. The ravaging pilgrims have arrived, and it's up to you to inspire your allies and lead them in strategic battles to save the overworld. The reviews for Minecraft Legends have already dropped, and it's being received fairly well, all things considered. And now it will be seeing its official release on April the 18th. And lastly, but not least, we have the Final Fantasy Pixel Rematch collection outside of the price point which may be seen as a little bit egregious i mean 75 dollars for all of those titles is a little high but overall you do get six titles final fantasy 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 the first six final fantasy games have been updated with beautiful new 2d pixel graphics designed to look great on hd displays rearranged soundtracks overseen by original composer nobio uematsu and improved gameplay features including modernized user interface auto battle options and more final fantasy 4 is one of my all-time favorites i know people love final fantasy 6 as well get all of those games refined. That'll be nice to have on PS4 if you don't want to pick it up for that full price point. Maybe wait on a discount, you know, 50% off for $37 uh, or so. Might be something up the alley of most of you. But that'll do it for me. Again, another nice week of new game releases with a major expansion in Horizon Forbidden West. Burning Shores, excited for that. Dead Island 2, a long time coming for that. And a lot of other smaller titles. And even, you know, saying Mage Seeker and Final Fantasy, the Pixel Remaster Collection, or smaller titles is probably doing them a disservice, but those are exciting games as well. And then you have coffee talk you have Dre blade some exciting titles all around that'll do it for me sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye hey guys we hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed do us a favor and hit the bell icon this way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video that's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads and we usually try to upload two videos a day and with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.